Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the Janitorial Store, MyHealthCleaningBiz.com, and Marketing Systems by Design. So the other day I was talking with one of my marketing clients about a blog post that we wanted to do for her website on safety. How she trains her employees, what the process is, and that they take safety seriously and so they can communicate that with their clients. And when I asked her the question, she's like, well, I don't really have a safety training program. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to take off my marketing hat and put on my cleaning business owner hat because this is something that is really important. And so I um, coached her a little bit on the importance of safety. And, you know, if you don't take safety seriously, your employees are not going to take it seriously either. And they're not going to know what to do when something does happen. And that's going to result in really elevated costs for you, especially in your workers' comp costs. So... You want to make sure that you can train them on what to do in all these different situations. I mean, when it comes to a, working a cleaning company, whether it's commercial or residential, this type of training is very important because we tend to have high, uh, say, accident ratings in this industry. And so slip fall accidents, cuts and scrapes and splashes in the eye with chemical. There's so many different kinds of accidents that can happen, back strains. Um, you know, so having some sort of formalized training program is really important. And if you don't have one, how do you do that? And also, how do you how do you go beyond the initial training of safety? Um, we used to have yearly safety meetings with our employees, but you can do even more frequent trainings, which we started doing. Um, eventually was doing more quarterly trainings but you know you can even do in your daily huddles a lot of you I know do short little meetings in daily huddles or maybe once a week huddles um, this is where you can do some really short training ongoing training on cleaning and safety so how do you do that because you probably as the business owner you don't have time to put it together right I know I get it <laughs> so that's why we do it for you so I'm going to switch over to the internet here and for if you are a member of the janitorialstore.com or my house cleaning biz a premium member you also get access to a learning management system that we call uh, clean smart university so this is a, a portal that has got over 8,000 professional training videos on a number of different topics workplace safety is just one of the main categories so what I did was I went into workplace safety and I just did a search for first aid training and all these different videos came up and you'll notice that they're short I mean most of them are maybe 10 5 to 10 minutes long so you know you've got uh, videos on first aid for surface injuries you've got one down here where it's a splash in the eye there's cut protection utility knife safety there's um, protecting yourself from stinging insects if you're uh, work at cleaning homes you may be exposed to bee stings if they've got a lot of plants out front right so there's a lot of different training available that you can use to train your employees Another way to provide safety training is through the janitorial store. This is our janitorial safety program. Now, um, to find this, just go to the home page and scroll down to where you see the certified training. And we have certified training program that has been verified through ISSA and CMI, the Cleaning Management Institute. So if you would like to train your employees and let your customers know that you have provided certified training, then you can do that through the janitorial store. We have, there are different criteria, so be sure to watch the video. There's an exam in this one, cleaning 101 that have, is a prerequisite for the additional training. You've got general office cleaning training, you've got restroom care, you've got the safety program, and then you, there's exams to go along with each of these. So when you go to the certified safety training, it explains how to get certified, and then there is a table of contents here. So this is all, uh, geared towards janitorial companies we have very similar training on my house cleaning biz if you've got a residential company it is not certified however um, you know it's basically has a lot of the same information it's just geared towards a residential cleaning company ISSA does not uh, certify residential cleaning companies at least yet uh, for training programs so I just wanted to share this with you that 
if you want to provide a culture of safety in your cleaning company, there is a way to do it and to provide ongoing training where you don't have to come up with all the ideas on doing it. So check us out at thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com for more information and we're happy to help.